Hi, I'm Lisa. I'm co-founder and CMO at The Odor. So it's funny because I never thought that I was going to be an entrepreneur. Uh, that's not a journey that I was aspiring to. Um, in 2020, my, my sister, who is a CEO and the, the visionary behind the idea of The Odor, um, she had a big problem with all of the packaging waste that she was creating through her consumption of oat milk. And so she gave me a call. Uh, she's a mechanical engineer, so she, of course, uh, was thinking maybe there could be like a machine solution to all of this. So she gave me a call and uh, I was immediately fascinated by the idea and also um, building a purpose-driven business. And so we asked two, two more friends to join and that's where all of the journey started. So essentially in our machine, we do everything that traditional oat milk uh, runs through also in, in an industrial plant, uh, which includes a fermentation. So you ferment uh, the oats to make them naturally sweeter without adding sugar, and then also adding oil to make it creamy and to create that barista quality foam that we, we all love so much. I think oat milk uh, already now is, is quite the sustainable alternative to cow milk and we know that the dairy industry creates 1.7 billion tons of CO2 emissions annually, which is double the aviation sector and has such a large impact on, uh, on our climate, which is something that we really need to find ways of, of working towards uh, changing that, that impact. And so we believe that in rethinking uh, and revolutionizing the way that we produce food and the value chains behind it, we can actually bring the production on site and save so many resources. And this is something that we hope to pioneer in oat milk with, with the odor, but also hope to inspire other businesses to do within their sectors. I mean, I think there's many obstacles and I think having a startup is kind of like a, a constant obstacle course, right? I think uh, at the start, especially creating a, a hardware startup, the, the path from the idea and the vision to the product is, is longer than it is for digital or like purely digital products. So um, having other people and also investors believe in our capability of actually building this product uh, was key to, to actually making this happen. So I would say that was a large challenge we faced. And then getting the milk to foam uh, superbly was, was definitely also something that we, uh, that we struggled with, but uh, have since uh, cracked uh, the code of, um, of making it uh, perfectly foamy. I'm a big fan of iced oat milk lattes, um, which I guess is, is just a very simple uh, coffee drink. Um, but then I think also on like the more cooking or like experimenting with oat milk and recipes, there's so many cool things that you can do, like pasta recipes. I, I had had this really great recipe, which is also on our Instagram for like a, a pumpkin, uh, creamy pumpkin sauce pasta that also uses oat milk, which is uh, amazing. A big It feels great. I feel overall it's such a unique opportunity of being in a space where social or like more purpose driven uh, entrepreneurship is is valued and the space is created because oftentimes we do um, find ourselves in more uh, traditional startup environments, which which is great. But then the whole element of purpose, which for us in our founding journey has been, you know, the foundation of everything that we do connecting over that with with other um, founders has been has been amazing, and then also, I think the the interesting different perspectives, um, both you know through the cultural and diverse backgrounds that everyone has here, is is really valuable, and, and I take a lot from that. I think uh, it would be to yeah to find yourself partners network, mentors, whatever it is, like you can never build a startup by yourself. And so my advice would be to go out, ask people, tell people about the idea, get co-founders on board, uh, get the support from, from mentors, programs, whatever it is, like learn as much as you can and also lean on others because it, it's a wild ride and having uh, people support you throughout it is, uh, is key.